Hey guys, welcome back to like a guess a vlog, a video um, of what I've been up to really because I actually haven't been on for quite a while. Um, I've been sick for the past month and uh, I'm getting better, thank gosh, and I've just been like super anxious and everything that's been flaring up. So I've just been like, you know, focusing on work and myself for a little bit and I've even been slumping a little bit from, you know, reading books and stuff. So I've just been super exhausted because of being sick. But I think I just like ended up with like a flu and bronchitis and all that because my immune system's down and I'm not a hundred and ten percent so <clears throat> thanks to all that it's kind of opened up my eyes a bit about being more healthier I'm ready to start a clean lifestyle a cleaner lifestyle healthy choice um, as well as uh, working out now again like I used to not only to help my immune system be boosted and my asthma to strengthen my lungs but also because uh, I'm actually quite unhealthy I guess you could say my anxiety like I said has flared and has flared up a little bit of my depression because you know why not <laughs> so I've just been in a bit of a hole a deep dark hole that has been really been stressful for me um, trying to decide who I am as a person and who I want to be as a person um, so I'm I'm ready to take that lifestyle change again because I was extremely fit before my anxiety like two years ago and uh, <laughs> it's just a wake-up call in you know what what do I want to do like I mean I, I know I'm a bookworm and I know I love dancing and I know before my anxiety hit, like I was such a fitness fanatic. Um, <laughs> you know, I would work out so damn much and I was proud of who I was and I was so confident. So this was me back then before my anxiety hit and when I was at my leanest weight, uh, I was planning on, I guess, competing, but I always struggled with who I was inside. But at the same time, I was, I thought I was fat back then as well. And that's an issue. So I'm glad to say that now that I'm mentally stronger, I'm hoping that I can see that I am a lot better. Like with being healthier, it's not about being skinny or about, you know, anybody else but myself. So I'm definitely hoping to get that underway <clears throat> so i just been at my little brother's swimming competition thing i mean he's just turned 11 and he's on like this swimming competition thing and it's so exciting and he's done so well and it's motivated me because all these swimmers are just so good and fit and their cardio is amazing and you know, I'm like, I could be doing that too, not swimming, but you know, like they can do that stuff and it makes me want that so much more for myself as well, to be able to be capable of doing just as much as well. But obviously I'm losing my voice a little bit because I mean like cheering him on and everything, but you know, okay, cool. So I'm going to my parents' house, so I just dropped my sister-in-law off because she is almost near the end of her pregnancy with my nephew and um, obviously she can't drive much no more so I've been helping her out driving her uh, and all that kind of stuff I think it's like, I don't even know where I'm going so getting her out of the house and stuff so I've just dropped her off because she's really tired now I'm going back to my parents house to like have a coffee and stuff with them and my auntie and uncle and um of course spend some time with my little brother my other younger brother was working so he got to come but that's okay that's fine but uh yeah i after that i'll go out to buy my food and actually meal prep that i have not done in so long <laughs> so i am looking forward to doing it um 
I mean, I can do it. I know I can do it. It's just putting it to use. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can train people and I can tell them what's the best to do to get them to where they want to do. Because I was going to train to be a personal trainer and all that. But I just, it's so hard to take your own advice. Um, and God, I'm going to hit a car. It's like a ping pong thing. And um, I didn't hit a car. <laughs> so I'll start doing that as soon as all this is done get myself ready for tomorrow for work and everything and um you know finally settle down to read because i've been reading the awakened i don't know who that's by though unfortunately but it is an ebook that i'm reading um it's benjamin tomes is publishing company he's like a booktuber on here um so it's pretty interesting book so far i have finished a quarter of mr fury so i've only finished i've reread a book um i finished a book and uh yeah that that's all i've done and i'm like probably 25 percent into the ebook so you know it's almost the end of the month what can you do um so that's okay whatever so I'm at my parents house so I will check in with you guys when I go shopping so yes uh, so I'm very sorry that I haven't been around but I'm definitely hoping to have a schedule out and about and ready to roll again because I've missed booktubing and I've missed being me so I am ready to get into it so I will check back in with you guys later bye so it is about 9.30 at night and I've just been rubbing my eyes forgetting I had a bit of mascara on and um, I ended up having dinner with my family which was great. We went to like this restaurant thing um, and so it was really nice there. I haven't gotten much reading done this weekend because I've been pretty busy doing God everything. So I am just about to take my makeup off, have a shower, and then get into bed. Might read a little bit. It's about, yeah, 9.30, so I don't know, I'm really tired. And it's back to work tomorrow and starting my fitness plan, everything like that. I didn't have time to go to the, the supermarket to get some food and stuff and prep, but I've got some healthy food here anyway, like chicken soup and uh steam and steamed veggies so i'm gonna do that um i think i might actually edit these videos and chuck it up online um so that i don't procrastinate so oh my gosh i practically rubbed this one off and this one's not done so i'm gonna go do that now but I really hope I can get some more reading done before the end of the month. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me. And thank you guys for watching this little vlog update thing. I'm still here. So um, I'm just getting there. I'm getting there. That's the main thing. Candice. Oh, hey, babes. Hi. You say hi? Oh, no, not a very flattering angle from this one, my love. Oh, say hi. Oh, they have missed you. So if people like these vlogs enough, then I might actually continue doing little updates here and there, especially on my fitness and eating healthy just to keep me uh, accountable, but also to show people that healthier eating and actually working out can be very beneficial for people with anxiety slash depression or any other kind of mental illness um i've been getting a lot of sore muscles and stuff like my hip flexors have been out of control so sometimes it gets really sore so i guess with that and a lot of stretching and stuff hopefully we can get somewhere with this horrible disaster that's my vessel of a body so um fingers crossed that I think of the positives and not scare myself silly about working out and realize all the benefits and how happy I am when I am working out so thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next video I promise it won't be like 
a month or something ahead. So, so until then, happy readings. Yeah.